Today I want to teach you guys how to make a streaming layout for a game called Osu. Osu is a rhythm game that I play very often and there's people who stream it. They may either stream the game only or have a layout to add to their stream. In this case I'll be showing you guys how to make that layout so you won't have to pay money for an artist. First uh, you want to have the images that you want to use which I already have in a folder over here and then you want to have Photoshop as well. So I have Photoshop already launched and let me just minimize my camera so it doesn't get up, get in the way. You probably won't be able to see me but so you can see this. First you want to um, open the images. You want to open your background image that you'll be using and for me this is the background image that I'm using and now you want to make your border this is where your game is going to be in and you want to make it you there's many many ways to make it you could either make an actual border or transparent border to add to your image in the background for me i'll be doing a transparent border because that's the one i like and it'll be uh rectangular so first you want to start a new document and uh make sure that the background contents are transparent. It doesn't matter for the width and height, but usually I start with 1280 over 720. And make sure you just basically have these same settings. Now you want to go over to these tools over here. There are several tools that you could use, but we're going to use the second, the rectangular mark tool. And you want to highlight to your left and pull it all the way down and just highlight a small section to the left. Now it's highlighted, you wanna use the paint bucket and just paint it with white. Then you want to go over here and right click and duplicate the layer and then drag this to the right. You wanna duplicate the layer again drag it to the middle usually photoshop will help you snap you always want to snap and then go to edit transform and rotate 90 degrees then we want to do the same on the top but this will require more work you want to duplicate again and then take the duplicate put it over here duplicate again The way down make sure it snaps each time duplicate again and then bring it over here make sure it snaps then you want to merge all the layers so just right click the top layer merge down do it again repeatedly till you get to your last layer and then you want to make sure you change this normal to overlay so we will have a transparent background and this is where you're done with this new document now you want to select the layer and with the first tool on the top you want to drag this this whole thing and bring it all the way to your other document and then place it next you want to drag it go back to edit transform and scale you want to um, make your border how you want your also gameplay to be so basically you could just resize it it's not going to be this small for me i'm going to drag it all the way up here almost to the edge make sure it just doesn't snap all the way to the edge and then resize this to how i want it Sometimes if you want to have something to look back on, in this case I have a memory of what I want to look back on, so I remember how to do this. And then, hit the first tool, apply transformation, there we go. Now we have our border, we want to move on to the next step. Next step is adding your username. You could either put it at the bottom, wherever you want. 
So we're gonna go back to file, we're gonna hit place this time. Take our username. This will be my username. Then you could have a little bit of overlap. It doesn't really matter. Depends on how you want it. And then hit place. Now we have my username here. Next up, we want the chat. This one would be very basic. It'll just be a gray transparent background. And you want to resize this. Then hit place, right click and hit place. And then for the final one, we want the just the chat sign. Hit place again. Chat. You could resize it to overlap or not. It's your choice. Let me resize this. And then hit place. So now we're done with the first step. We have the chat, we have the uh, background for the chat, we have the border, and we have my name. Next up is to go to OBS. And so let's go to our OBS. Let's minimize this, minimize this one as well. And then first we wanna add our scene. We're gonna name this Osu Streaming Overlay 2. And then you want to add first our image, the one that we made. I'm gonna name this overlay to browse and then go to our folder overlay then we want to add the webcam border first go to another image webcam border Hit browse add the webcam put it to the bottom right Usually the red webcam allows for the viewers to see the keyboard, but some people just want to show themselves. Now we can just add the GIF that I had, GIF2. I'm going to put it right here. And then finally the webcam. First, let me take this webcam off. Go to video capture, webcam, webcam two. Logitech capture. And then first we wanna hit edit, transform, edit transform. And now we can Stretch this however we want. Yeah. And finally, we want to add our game go to game capture and since I already have it here I can just hit osu capture now it's not gonna pop up till we actually launch our game let's launch that there we go and then we give it a sec so I can register and now we have to resize it right click hit transform edit stretch the bounds now we can resize it into our border And 
then we actually want to rearrange this so it won't be overlapping the GIF and the webcam. We want the webcam and the GIF to overlap. And then the webcam border as well. And there we go. So basically this is a test run to see how it works with the gameplay. You can say this mode specifically, which I don't play much, is a mirror of piano tiles. I may be rusty so I may miss.